Hey guys, welcome back to Instructions for Humanity. It is your girl, Tahira, mother of the ages. Guys, this is an impromptu channeling video. I have a few ideas on uh, who I want to channel, what I want to channel. I just uh, got out of a past life regression session. Guys, please book a past life regression session with me. I'm going to be giving discounts off of this session. It just felt so good to do past life regression. I know you guys want readings. But guys, when you do the past life regression, you are the one experiencing the healing. And I'm also doing light language when we do run across a situation that needs to be healed. If I need to get rid of negative energy or negative beings, I will go into my light language warrior mode for you guys during the past life regression. It's very, very cool. So it's like my own form of past life regression. And um, just email me instructions number for humanity at gmail.com because I'm going to start giving more discounts, discounts out for this because I want you guys to feel and experience this for yourself. It is so healing, so nourishing, and it's even greater than a reading, guys. So just email me. But guys, it's your supernatural quantum healer. I do a past life regression quantum healing sessions. And with my uh, sister, Kiki, I do quantum telekinetic light language readings with remote healing. Also, too, guys, if you would like to book any of those sessions, just also to please do. Email details would be below. Okay. Okay, okay. There's a something very interesting happening in my energy field. I literally just finished a session where this being was kind of hijacking my client had a was a false soul contract with my client for 14 million years and guys yes all of this is possible right for 14 million years and was ciphering my client's energy and so we did remove that and return the stolen energy back to my client which was beautiful but this being was on the 14th dimension. And I happen to know that my sister Kiki is the creator of the 14th dimension. And it was so interesting because I knew what the things that we actually built on the 14th dimension in our quantum healing session. I started to ask, um, actually I asked my client, can I speak to this being? And this being was named Oregon, right? And so I started to speak to Oregon, question Oregon, Hey, why are you there? This is a place for healing. This was created for people to go to, to heal and to get replenished, right? And he was there basically pretending that he was on a some sort of scavenger hunt or excursion when in truth, Oregon hijacked my client and was using the 14th dimension, the, the energy field there to cipher my client's energy and they have been there for over 14 mil million years. So I wanted to do, okay, so this is what spirit is calling me to do. I might tap into Oregon and then we're gonna move into this eclipse because there is a light side of this eclipse guys, but there's also something very interesting going on. It's a truth serum. This eclipse is a truth serum. And this eclipse is almost giving humanity an extra dose of this energy that we're under the, in the year of the eight. That's what this eclipse is doing. Y'all, y'all gonna be finding out some crazy things. I'm telling you about this time. Some of y'all, <laughs> some, some of people y'all in relationships where they got secret babies, like this is the sort of stuff that's gonna be coming out. Like is it could get a little messy. It honestly could get a little messy. So what I'm gonna do, and I've never done this before, I'm gonna tap into Oregon um, on the 14th dimension and then I think I'm going to channel through Oregon about this eclipse that is coming here. And we're already in the energy of that. So this is interesting. And this is what I am being led to do, guys. Let's go on this journey. I'm going to uh, put myself in a meditative um, kind of self-hypnotic state a little bit. Get myself relaxed so we can meet back up with Oregon of the 14th dimension. And when, when after the energy that he had stolen from my client starts to leave his body, he shrank down and he was just like a little toad looking entity. So let's go ahead and connect with that. And then we will see what he has to say about this eclipse that is coming. Okay. One moment. I'm going to give him a little more energy because we drained all of his energy. 
because he was still in energy. So I'm going to give him a little bit more energy so that he'll have enough energy to do this session with one moment. Organ. He's saying, I am ashamed. I have his hands. Um, I give him just enough energy to stand up right. And he has his little arms and like some shackles, right? He's saying, I'm ashamed. So I'm going to allow him to speak at this moment. I'm ashamed. I should have never did. Ooh, what I did. Ooh, y'all. Y'all, hold on. His energy reminds me of P. Diddy's energy. This is very interesting. This is P. Diddy's energy. They might be of the same kind or species of some sort. Do you want to tell me about that, or Organ? Yeah. See, he is a lot like me because we are energy thieves. He's showing me P. Diddy and his shiny suits dancing on stage and being in the front of everything, not really allowing his artist to shine. P. Diddy is also an energetic vampire, is what Organ is saying, that they are of the same kind. Okay. Saw a red flag, like there's a red flag just pop out of him. What do you want to tell me about the red flag? We signal to each other where to go, what places to go, what spaces, what um, what energies, what people that we can feed off of, we signal to each other. We all do all of our kind that has been doing this for multiple lifetimes, generational even. We've been creeping into your gene pool and we have infected a lot of the herd. And this is also how P. Diddy has our energetic signature as well. So he um, he is rotten. He is not of good um, soil. He's not of good stock. It really wouldn't matter if he's living in this life or a different life. It is the same energy because it is our energy, is the organ energy. Why don't you have your own energy. You told me you were created by source, but why don't you have it? Because every time I get the chance to, to hold energy, my own energy, I spoil it in some capacity. I am not a good steward of my own energy and therefore it has been taken away from me. And this is why I need new souls to cipher energy from And you're saying that this is how P. Diddy is as well. Yeah, he, he is I and, and I is he. Um, we all work together as one. I don't do this work on my own. We have we are feeding information to to one another. That's how it works. So it's not really just about him. It's we're all just connected. We're one big happy family. What was it about the 14th dimension? As you know, my celestial sister created this dimension and I assisted in that. This is a place for healing, a place where souls can go to replenish themselves, where they can get reconnected in motherly mothers, warm, velvety waters. It's a place for protection and spiritual growth and comfort. Did you taint this space? Yes, I tainted it. I I pissed on it. I pissed in it. I pissed over it. I tainted it. So when you tainted this space, what did it create? 
it created negative energy. It's no longer the purified body of crystals that it was when I when I emerged here. It is not like that anymore. It has been spoiled. I have spoiled it. We we all have spoiled it. Organ, I want you to pick up every essence, every single essence, and I want you to take it with you as we need to return this dimension back to its glory. In a moment, but not right now, I'm going to unloosing the shackles. And I want you to pick up everything, starting from the water. What did you leave in the water? My droplets, my essence, my sewage. Mikririki, mukiriki, makririki, marake, mureki, mukiriki, mureki, nakiririki, nikiririki, nireke, nireke, mureki, nireke, nakiririki, nireke, mureki. Mureke mureke, mureke mureke, makirireke, mureke nakire, makike ke mukirireke, mureke nakirireke, makirireke, makirireke, nike, mureke, mureke reke, nireke, mukirireke, mukireke, nakireke, mureke neke nereke, mureke nakire, mureke, mureke nak, nireke, nireke. So in that imagery, he was, um, I loosened the shackles and I positioned him in front of the water for him to pull back his essence. And it was like this green substance was coming out of the water there on the 14th dimension. It was going back into his mouth. Those were his droplings. It was actually negative energy that he spoiled in this in this beautiful healing motherly cosmic waters he he spoiled it so his essence has gotten placed back into him okay let's see what else he's done there Mureke Nareke Nireke Nireke Nareke Nireke 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 Mukireke, makireke, mukeke, makireke, 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 muke. He put his um, negative energy in the in the atmosphere, and it's funny because this morning I was channeling atmospheric atmospheric something I was channeling something in the atmosphere I didn't know it would be this negative energy that he spoiled the 14th dimension with um but we removed that I saw little particles they looked like little dark orange or maybe like red to dark orange particles in the atmosphere and we sucked it all like used him as a vacuum to suck it all back into him now guys this is not really organ organ seems to be an archetype and funny enough in the this um, past life regression, my client mentioned archetype. I didn't think it was relevant, but now I'm seeing that this organ is an archetype. P Diddy is the same archetype. So this is this is all tying into the eclipse now, guys. Wait a minute, I'm drawing a comparison. It's tying into the eclipse because this eclipse is to magnify. It's that truth serum. It is to magnify what 
this year of the eight has brought to us, the energy it's brought to us, but the eclipse is to help to magnify that. There are light aspects and dark aspects. Diddy is under a microscope. His truth is being magnified. And because Oregon and Diddy and all of the rest of their kind, they are of a particular pedigree. They are of a particular, they are particular being, right? They are particular essence. They are the same species. This is a soul archetype that we are tapping into. This organ is a soul archetype and P. Diddy has the soul archetype. And because organs energy now, we took all of that energy he was holding. He stole it. He was stealing it from people. He stole it over 14 million years. It was still in my client's energy. When we removed that, he was reduced down to nothing. And he only had enough energy to power himself, which he fell right on the floor and he became very small. He didn't even have enough energy to really walk around. He became a belly dweller. This is what spirit is saying about Diddy. He's going to become a belly dweller. He will lose everything. I mean, he will be on his belly. When you're on your belly, you can't even get up because you're not even sitting in the right position. This is going to turn P. Diddy on his belly. All of this energy he's been ciphering away and everybody and bad boy he didn't sucked off of. He didn't even murked a lot of people to get where he is. He, this is, he is an organ energy. This is what it is. And this negative energy that P. Diddy has soiled the earth with, this organ archetype, soul archetype has soiled the earth with this, is now being returned back to him. And when this energy is returned back to Diddy, as it was returned back to organ, they, he will be forced to dwell in the negative energy that he built in other people, when it all comes back to him, it's, he's going to fall on his belly. It is going to make him a belly dweller, not just in this life. What I'm seeing, those same 14 million years that this Oregon soul archetype was spending ciphering energy and muddying up this 14th dimension, the airs in the atmosphere, the water and everything else, he just polluted it. Same thing with what Diddy did. He polluted the music industry. He was used as a tool, as a plant, as a bait. He allowed himself to be used because he never had his own energy. All of his artists, he sucked off of their energy and he did exactly what the organ did to the 14th dimension. This is a parallel and this leads us to the eclipse. What is happening? It's all relevant. So right now, the atmosphere is getting a cleansing. This atmosphere is not only getting a cleansing. See, this is where it gets deep. This is where we have the, the divide. This is where we have the shift for some people into the higher rims of consciousness. And this, we have the, the, the belly dwellers, the wands that will, we will shine with a microscope We'll be able to see the truth and they will become belly dwellers. This is something in the Bible. It's about, um, being, you know, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm getting a sense this is in the Bible somewhere. It's something about being a belly dweller, being on your belly. You know, the, certain beings and entities that are on their belly. P. Diddy and this organ archetype for the next 14 million years, baby, you're going to be on your belly. You ain't going to have functionality with hands, with feet, with arms, nothing. And so this is what we're going to see with Diddy. Everything's going to fall down. And I did a um, self-hypnosis session, channeling session three or four months ago. And Erica Kennedy came through, the, the lady that he, you know, so to speak, allegedly murked way back in the day, one of Kimora's best friends and Tyra Banks as well. He, um, she said, it's already deceased. I really didn't expound to that, but she was, she was, she was basically saying that he's already deceased. That is what she was saying. So, like I said before, we could take it one or two ways. The days of when he was terrorizing this earth and people is deceased or he actually will be physically leaving this earth. And I actually see that as a possibility here in the quantum field. I see that as a possibility where it's like he gets murked or he, so to speak, murks himself, but it won't be him murking himself. It will be the other people cutting off their tools, destroying their tools so that you don't see the bigger trail of what this really leads to. You don't see where those tunnels that he has under his house really leads to. 
This is what I'm saying. And this is the eclipse energy. Everything, every good thing is being returned to you and every bad thing. All of the essence that you put when you spoke the negativity, whether it's to other people or to yourself or cursing other people, everything you did, all your essence is now being returned back to the sender. This is what the eclipse. And when you do things in your secret spaces and you collude with other people to do things against other people and you think that no one, no, the universe is always listening. Universe is always recording. It's always recording. I did a channel message with the all seeing eye. It sits in the eighth dimension. It always records. I'll link the video. You can watch it. This universe is technology. It's always recording. And so Diddy is a bottom dweller, now a belly dweller. He has no more energy. He has no more other people's energy. He will lose at mark my words, not only lose everything, he will be in the negatives. And for the next 14 million years, he will be a belly dweller. I've never seen a soul regress. Have you ever seen a soul regress to going back to being an, an insect, being, you know, an animal? I'm not saying he will be on this dimension, but I do see him taking a bunch of different incarnations as a belly dweller. He will be ruled over for a very long time. And this eclipse energy is helping to portal that through because it is a portal. This is the same portal though that opened in 2022. It's the same portal. It's just now magnified. It's getting larger is what it is. And this eclipse is going to bring back all those particles that we put out in our atmosphere. It's gonna bring that back to our body. That's why some of us are getting the upgrade. Some of us are manifesting. And some people, their life girl is going down the tubes because you won't be able to hide from it. It's the truth serum because it shows you what you've been doing in the dark, whether it be good or bad. The hardest truth, this is, this is the eclipse energy. I'm gonna wrap this up. This is what spirit is saying. This is the mirror energy of your soul. Whatever you get back from this, it's mirroring you. The hardest truth to see is the truth about yourself. So it's a it's a very dualistic energy. It's not just all bad. Because think about it. This is a mirror that this eclipse is given to us. This is not only a mirror to see the physical. This is a mirror to see within the essence of thy soul. All the incarnations, every place you've ever been, this eclipse is going to show you the truth about that. And some of that truth may lead to your destruction depending on how you have lived. Guys, this universe is always recording. You can't get away with it. So in a way, this eclipse is purposely being done. It's not being done by earthlings. This eclipse is being done by other beings and also source too. Because believe it or not, source also has a dark side. This is how you get this, the Satan archetype. You wouldn't even have the Satan archetype if Source wasn't holding the energy. Source has to be all things. And I've outlined this in my book. Waiting for the editor, girl. But Source has to be all things because Source uses the Satan energy to cleanse for reset. So this portal, this eclipse is made on purpose for growth and expansion, showing you the light side, but for also growth and expansion, showing you the dark side of your soul. And all negativity will be called back onto you from the astrals, from the etheric realms, from the heavenly realms, because the portal is now big. You're not just getting the karma from this incarnation on life. You're getting the karma for every single dimension of time that you've been in. This is why it's big. This is the only way to really facilitate the shift. The shift is not just ra raising to a new frequency and vibration. you got to first accept and get the punishment for what you've done before you can truly move on. You have to see clearly. So this eclipse is bringing a mirror, a soul mirror. And it's bringing back your essence. You are calling back your essence to you. I don't care what dimension you left negativity on, like Oregon, like Diddy. It's going to be it's like a vacuum, sucking it all back in so that you can now look at it and heal. So it's almost like it's almost like this universe is giving you a past life regression. It's 
allowing you to see what you've been doing, what your soul has been doing, even though you're not conscious. This is what is going on. This is exactly what is going on. I think, I think, honestly, I think I've said it. I think this channeling session was beautiful. Guys, there are no mistakes. When I met this client today, it was like we were kindred spirits. I know that we had a past life before. I absolutely know. I remember. I always say, my spirit knows and my soul remembers. Every soul has a unique energy signature. You will know. You will know. That's when, when you meet someone, you're like, man, it's like I knew you before. Yeah, because you have. Every person has a unique energy signature. And I was already channeling this session that I would be in today. And it happens all the time, guys. So um, I already start channeling this atmosphere as atmospheric, you know, particles, negative particles. So it's all flooding into me this morning. So guys, book a past life regression or a quantum healing session. It's done under hypnosis, but hypnosis, it ain't nothing, girl, but some breathing and using your imagination and Instead of coming to get a reading where I'm seeing all this in my mind, you can also be the reader. And that's what the past life regression allows you to do. It allows you to see everything for you to not only see it, but experience it. And that is the deeper healing, right? I could do the reading all day long and I can do the remote healing. But when we want to go deeper, then we need to do this very important work. I love this work. And I don't care how long it takes me. I will sit there until I bring a cleansing to your soul because that is what I'm here for, guys. Okay, I'm going to leave this here, but subscribe to the channel, like and share and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. I love you and I love you. And so it is as we walk together in divine love. Be well. Be well, guys. Bye.